start again. It's very rare when you have to bathe a chicken. But this chicken, in two days, is going to be going to a library with me, and we're going to be introducing about 50 children to the joys of chickens. And she looks fairly clean in this direction, but if you turn her around, she's a mess. And I need to give her a bath. Yeah. I have a large sink in my laundry room, and that's where we're going to bring her in to bathe her. So come on. And I'm just going to lower her into the water. So she'll just sit here, and I'm going to make sure that all poo on her butt gets soaked so it loosens up and is going to come off. Meanwhile, I'm going to get her wet. Do you see how water just rolls right off those feathers? It's actually rather hard to get a chicken really wet. And I'm going to put her in this warm, soapy water. And I still need... You can't be squeamish either. You gotta get your hand there. You have to get your hand on the manure. I'm going to take a, it's an old scrub brush and very gently She's handling it rather well. She looks really dirty right now, but that's just because she's a white hen. When she dries, she'll be beautiful. So now she's going to get a little bit pat dry, and the next step is to use a blow dryer. Chickens like this. Look at me. Depending on the bird, this can take a long time. A buck warping tin with the really fluffy under feathers, it can take over half an hour to blow dry. She's going to take at least 10 minutes to get her nice and dry all the way through. Betsy is still a little bit wet. I don't like to dry her all the way. I don't like to have too much heat on her. So I'm going to keep her inside for the next hour or so. I'm putting her in a travel crate that's bedded with pine shavings. She'll get water, some treats. She'll enjoy herself inside in the warmth. And when she's totally dry, she'll be ready to go back out in the coop. Clean bottom. Now I can take her to the library to meet the children.